here's the SensorWeb HMI. This is a screenshot of the HMI. We've got an HTML file on the desktop. When we open it, we've got links to four visors. Clicking on the first one here, you can see the live image. We'll go back and open up a zoomed image on the right, which is the same IP address with slash zoom.html, and it shows a zoomed image. Now let's go back to the menu and open each one in turn. So now we have all of these uh, tabs open to the four connected visors. You can see I'm clicking on each tab going across. And this is in Google Chrome. Here we have this boring website that uh, it connected to five different vi visors. And if we take a look at it, here's the HTML file, and we'll open with Notepad. So let's break this down. We've got right here this Sense Apart image, the Sense Apart logo, that happens to be in the same directory as this HTML file. And here we're defining a table. Here's a table row. You can see department, machine number, camera. IP address. This is the first row. Next, we've got the second row. Winders, Op 170, Bushing. <clears throat> Winders, Op 170, Bushing. And here you have the link. So let me make this a little bit longer. This P puts in a new row. This is the IP address and the uh, HTML file on the camera. This target blank makes it open in a new tab on most browsers, including Chrome. This is the text that is actually displayed. So if we put in here test and save, and we come here and we refresh, you can see the change was reflected. Um, so there's nothing magical about this document. In, it's pretty simple and straightforward to edit if you have to add new visors.